Okay, so I've switched to After Effects and opened Chrome Tool Project. If we go into the input composition, you can see that there are several sample layers. You can delete them all and start animating something new in this comp. But I'm going to drag footage that I have just imported to After Effects. Now and open Main Render Comp. I'm going to select this control layer, and go to Window, and Effects Control. You can also open Control Tab with Keyboard Shortcut. Select Control Layer on your timeline, and just press F3 on your keyboard. It will open this nice panel. Moving forward, we have a lot of settings to set here. We can enable and disable VHS Letterbox, VHS Effect Amount, turn on and off two styles of recording over. This adjusts automatically with the aspect ratio. As you can see, you can adjust settings such as blur, sharpen, flicker, noise, but there is much more. You can enable, for example, the interlacing feature, which is more subtle than visible. There is also chromatic aberration at the edges. This ghost halo effect adds a lot of realism to better sell the VHS effect. I like to keep it on, but not too much. You can also easily restore lost detail. And if you mess with the settings, the reset button will be your friend. One of my favorite sliders is VHS colorizer. I love how it changes the look. And to be honest, I keyframe this setting a lot. A closely guarded little secret. And last but not least, a rewind effects. Yeah, you can simulate tape rewinding. The project contains two compositions, both full HD and 25 frames per second, but can be changed to any size or frame rate. All adjustments layers will automatically resize. Take this for example. I will import three footages with different resolution. I'm going to take 4K resolution first by dropping into the input composition. Now, I have to change resolution by going to Composition and Composition Settings. So, I choose 4K Preset. I have to do the same in the main VHS Render Composition. And I'm done. To keep it clean, I'll trim input and main comp. Now I'll take irregular resolution. And once again, I have to match composition settings to my footage settings. Make sure to unlock aspect ration. The same in the main composition. As you can see, you are able to use any resolution and frame rate 